This screencast will walk you through the process of turning in final drafts. In our classroom, under Start Here, Introductory Materials, you will find the Turnitin information. You will be turning in all of your final drafts to three places, Turnitin, the T drive, and in hard copy in the classroom. The Turnitin codes will be on this document. Please be sure you enroll in the course only once. Be sure to write down your name and password for Turnitin so that you do not lose it. Also under the introductory materials are the guidelines for final draft submission. The guidelines for final draft submission will show you the format that each paper needs to have in preparation for its final draft. They must be typed, double spaced, and with one inch margins. As long as you don't change the margins in Microsoft Word, they are automatically set to one, word, one inch. You need to insert a page number with your last name at the upper right hand corner of every page. And in the top of your page, but not in a header, you should have your name, your instructor's name, the course title, the date of submission, and without any extra spaces here, your title, centered and not in bold. Please notice that the title is the same font and size as the paper itself. There are also on this document a few guidelines for formal writing. Please take the opportunity to look through them. When you're ready to turn in your paper, you'll need to go to Turnitin. In Turnitin, I will have set up courses. I know that your view looks different than mine. And within each course, you will have a place to submit each paper. For most of our papers, I will set up a revision option. This revision option is where you want to submit your paper until the final draft is ready. In the revision option, it will allow you to see your Turnitin score, which you want to be below 20%, it will allow you to utilize the grade mark feature, which can give you some clues as far as grammar and mechanics in your paper. And it will allow you to resubmit it multiple times to the revision folder. When your final draft is ready, it will go to this file, the piece that is not the revision file. That's only for your final draft. In addition to Turnitin, you will need to turn it into your T drives. Of course, you can access your T drives in the bottom of your computer, with your H drive, but you can also access the H drives through our school website and you can access it this way when you're home and not in the network. We got new passwords recently. Let me see if mine will work. There we go. Once you're in the web portal, you'll want to use this link down at the bottom. This one does not usually work. So click on continue and that will take you into your H drive list where you can go to turn it in. And here you'll be able to turn in your paper to the correct folder. Inside the folders, I usually have different additional folders for whichever assignment it is. That's the second place you need to submit your, your paper. The third place you need to submit your paper is in hard copy in the classroom. I have found that I grade things much more quickly when I have them in hard copy and that way I can provide you feedback as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me.